Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be showing you guys how to do knotless braids for a low cost instead of paying the $200 plus fees that usually come along with this hairstyle. I'm starting out with day 4 hair that's been in a ponytail, so let's get into the video and I'll show you guys my process. Starting out by running my hair through the water and making sure it's soaking wet so that way you can get ready for all the products that I'm about to put into it. The first product that I'm using is this Aussie shampoo that I picked up from Target. It's my favorite shampoo because it really just bubbles so nicely in your hand and as you can see I use a pretty generous amount of it. Um, so what you're going to do is just take any shampoo that you have and rub it all throughout your scalp, in the middle, in the back, in the front of your hair. Uh, making sure not to touch like the actual strands of your hair because you don't want to dry it out, you just want to clean your scalp. So just rub that in all around and once you feel like it's clean, rinse out every single part of it and make sure that there's none left whatsoever. The next product that I'm using is this Shea Moisture Jamaican Black Castor Oil that uh, is a hair treatment. I use this every time I'm doing a protective style because I want my hair to be super moisturized while it's in the braids and not brittle. So it's only about $8 at uh, Target also and I use a pretty generous amount. So I just split my hair into two sections down the middle and rub the product on each side. Once it's rubbed in on each side, I use this Denman brush that I picked up from Target again and uh, use it to comb out each section very thoroughly, making sure to get the product in each part of the hair and every strand so that way it's super moisturized. Once you feel like you've combed it out and you get that slip where your hair is super moisturized, you're going to take it and just put it into a twist. And then once you do that, you're going to repeat this process on the other side of your hair. Once you've done that to both sides, you're going to take them and tie them up and leave it sitting in your hair while you continue the rest of your shower. After that's sat in your hair for a while, you're going to take it out and rinse out both sections of your hair. Once that's rinsed out, you're going to go in with a conditioner of your choice and rub this on the strands of your hair to make sure you get a little extra moisture. I only rub this in briefly and then rinse it out like straight after. The conditioner is the last step, so after that you're just going to make sure your hair is completely rinsed and moisturized and ready to be blow dried. So now that our hair is washed and our scalp is clean and our hair is moisturized, we're going to go in and blow dry our hair. To prep for the blow dry, I usually split my hair into two sections like I did earlier in the washing process. These are the three products that I'm using to blow dry my hair and to make the process a little easier. So I'm going to go in with the heat protectant and give myself about two sprays and rub that up throughout one section of my hair. After that's spread evenly and through my hair, I take a brush and comb it out. 
and then after it's combed out all the way I go in and split my hair into two sections again just to make the process a little easier and start blow drying one of those sections. After I repeated that process on the other side, this is the final look. Let's just disregard how many different lengths my hair is. Um, yeah. Next we're going to go in with two products, rubber bands and a rat tail comb with a pointy end. And we're going to part our hair. I don't know about you guys, but I am terrible at parting hair. So this is probably the worst part, the hardest part of this process. After I got too frustrated with not knowing how to part correctly, I negotiated with my mom and she helped me part it. Thankfully, you can see how happy I am. So she parted the rest of my hair and for the parts, we're just going in big sections straight across my hair. And then for the middle, we're going to go straight down the middle. So once you're done parting, you're going to want to get your hair ready so that way you don't have to take breaks while braiding. This is the hair that I bought. It's the Expressions 1B pre-stretched hair. And as you can see, I'm just taking very tiny pieces and laying them out on, you can use a chair or a cabinet or any type of surface that you have to lay the hair out and make it not get tangled. So for this section, I'm just going to show you guys the process of me braiding without actually explaining how to do it. And then I will show a closer up example a little further in the video.
once you finish, um, I am now at the top of my hair. And as you can see, I'm going to start braiding it like I would every other section. And I'm going to braid it down about five or six times. And I like to grip mine very tight, just so that way your natural hair doesn't come out. I have pretty soft hair, so I don't want there to be too many flyaways. Um, you can also gel it down a lot. Use your edge control to do that. So once you've braided it down, you're going to take your hair and you're going to place it between your thumb and your pointer finger on each hand. And I'm showing it kind of loose just to show you guys, but you're going to want to make sure it's tight and then braid it into your braid. So again, you're going to take a piece of your hair and put it between your pointer and your thumb, or thumb on each hand. And then on the side that doesn't have the hair attached to it, you're going to flip that over and continue braiding. And yeah, that's basically it. It's a very, it's very hard to understand. Uh, through an explanation, but I think watching the video and rewinding it over and over will definitely help you learn how to do it. I think the main thing to note is that, especially if this is your first time, it's going to be kind of hard and it's going to be difficult, but that's okay because uh, practice makes perfect and you're going to appreciate it a lot more for doing it yourself than paying $300 plus, $200 plus to get it done by someone else. This is only like my sixth time or so doing knotless braids and they still aren't as great as I'd like them to look. So just know that, you know, everything takes time and nothing is perfect. And you got this. Sorry for the lighting change, but this is the final result. As you can see, uh, my parts aren't perfect and some of my braids are a little twisted, but that's all right because it's a learning process, you know? So next I'm just gonna go in with this tea tree oil that I got from Walmart. And I'm just gonna rub this all throughout my scalp and make sure that my scalp is moisturized and that my uh, hair isn't too brittle and then I'm gonna go in with my toothbrush and some edge control and do my edges and now you got to get your edges done And then once I'm done with my edges, I'm just going to go in with my do-rag and put that over my head so that way everything sets. Um, I didn't show it in the video, but also make sure to dip your ends in some boiling water so that way that you seal them. I didn't want to show it in the video because I didn't want to burn myself, but make sure you do that so that way everything stays and none of your braids loosen. So this is the final product. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you learned and I hope this was useful. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Have a nice day. Bye.